is this the best value for money car of 2024? Well, as of right now, it actually really might be. This is the 7700 XT Challenger from ASRock and it's honestly surprised me in the last few weeks I've had it. Launched as the red corner competitor for Nvidia's 4060 Ti 16GB, it packs quite a punch, even with its 4GB of VRAM handicap. Now, let's get to the most important part, the price to performance ratio. Because as we all probably know, that's the most important part of any PC build. So using PC Builder, we'll spec out an AMD build using one of these cards and a similar build using a 4060 Ti. And you'll notice two things. First, Team Red comes out slightly more affordable, which makes sense. AMD launched this card after the 4060 Ti and pricing it lower is just a very smart business move. But here's the kicker, the numbers are actually higher. It beats out the more expensive 4060 Ti in a lot of situations, well, at least according to this website. But let's be honest, I wanted to test the numbers out myself. The 7700 XT tested in Fortnite, Cyberpunk, and the brand new Avatar game is really quite impressive. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. want to squeeze the most amount of FPS possible out of this card for a bit more of a competitive advantage in certain titles, then the numbers can also be boosted by using AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, which pretty much renders your game at a lower resolution and then upscales it again to the quality you're gaming at. Now I know this sounds a little bit iffy, but you'll be surprised that you don't really notice any difference. You can also combine that with the new AFMF feature, which generates extra duplicate frames to smoothen out the experience a little bit more. There's also this feature that lets your CPU directly access your GPU's VRAM to cut down on communication times. But this feature called Smart Access Memory is limited to certain Ryzen CPUs. And unfortunately, we're still team blue. So we couldn't test that out. What about the AMD curse? Temperatures. I had a Vega 64 and I distinctly remember that thing felt like it was about to spontaneously combust every time I launched a newer game. I'm sad to say, but I'll have to buy a heater for my studio soon because this one does not run hot at all. This thing only hit high 60s when pushed to the max and it is summer in Africa. So to sum it all up, is this the greatest budget card at the moment? Well, looking at its direct competition, it's not a bad choice at all. If you're planning on building a new PC or upgrading, now's actually a pretty great time to switch to Team Red. The 77 XT is a very competitive option with a respectable 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Remember to subscribe and buy the right thing. We do take out.